This is AIR. Artist in Residence Broadcasting. Coming to you once a week from New York City. Good afternoon. We are going to do a post for my blog, Anne's Talkery, and I'm going to introduce to you to John Cullum, my husband, the poet. That's right. John Cullum, my husband, the poet, wrote a poem for me for my Vivaldi solo. It was a 45-minute solo to Vivaldi's Four Seasons. And I love the poem that he wrote. This is the first part. It's in four sections. And here is the first poem that introduces spring. Enclosed in earth before the spring to flight, the seed of life gently wafted rises to the light. The spirit is exposed and softly yearning. Primordial surging pulse of life without and life within. The seed bursts forth, senses burning, dancing in the sun. And nature's never-ending circle, never, never-ending, is begun. Boy, <laughs> if you had to do a dance, or after that, you could dance, the seed of life bursting forth. It was wonderful. Well, the dance was wonderful. Why do you think I wrote this? Then came summer. Would you go ahead? Yes. Spring is gone. Now comes the brighter hues. Morning outlives dawn, imbues the world with warmer light. New senses sense the new in passions bold. And each new light as it unfolds gives the self of being its delight. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing, that is old. Wow. <laughs> there is nothing, absolutely nothing, that is old. That Does was... this bring back the dance? Oh, or... yes. Now, go ahead. Here comes autumn. The brilliant shaft of summer's day dispels. Time slides, and passion's youthful season falls away. The gracious gold of evening autumn swells and clothes the world in amber's soft array. With graceful movements, confident and sure, full to life and seasoned in the prime, the creature rites and rituals mature swirl on and on in unrelenting time, through irresistible and unrelenting time. Graceful movements, confident and sure, the creatures' rituals mature and swirl on and on in unrelenting time. Oh, John, <laughs> I had that in my head while I was dancing. Now, let's get to winter. Sunset rays of autumn's day diminish it. Gray chill of winter's night comes creeping. The black-tipped melancholy of season's finish whispers to the soul like silent weeping. The spirit lives in echoes of the past, no future season nor no future day, for every moving moment could be last. Then on the thread of time, grim death appears. And from the shades of gloom and darkest fears, the soul is gently wafted as in birth. The ordered, never-ending circle will repeat. The seed of life is gone again to earth. And nature's never-ending circle, never, never-ending circle, is complete. What a thing to have written that for me, for, for the thing that's recorded and played and the audience hears between each section of this 45-minute solo. What's extraordinary to me is that it kept ringing in my mind while I was dancing. I can't think of a more wonderful gift, more wondrous gift that you could give me than to have written this poem. You wrote it. 
Well, it was obviously a mutual thing, Emily, because I was inspired by your dance to write it. And John. Yes, Emily. Thank you, John. You're welcome. It was my pleasure. We'll see you again next week. Till then, so long. This is AIR. See you next week.